Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'll bring you a tutorial on how to record Team Fortress 2 in HD. Now, first of all, I want to say that you will need two programs, or three programs if you click Team Fortress 2. But, they will be, we will have Lawana Recording Tool, and we will have Virtual Dub. They're all free, free items, or programs to use and um, they're very good I would really recommend it I'm gonna show you how to use them now first of all you wanna record a demo so to do that you wanna write rec in your console which you can enable in the options advanced and enable developer console that's it and head to record and write tier or whatever you wanna call it tier to walk away walk away tutorial now there cannot be any spaces or something like that it, it can be underscores but not space it then it won't work so press record now it's recording everything you're doing it's recording without lag anything these are team for the two demos um so that's like you can't just put them onto youtube they won't be able to work um and that's everything you record maybe like an entire game you can use something like pre-rec that I have um, for competitive games. It will automatically start to record, and you can use bookmarks and shits. But when you've done what you want to, you write stop, and that's it. Now you wanna disconnect from TFS2 and quit. <coughs> now you wanna launch Lawana or Le Lawena. La I don't know what to call it, but I'm gonna call it Lawana recording too. It's launched now. You wanna switch up what you where you want to have your team just where your team for two folder is, which should be at your um, C maybe C S C like uh, the C Steam whatever you you gotta find it. Um, then you wanna put out a movie folder, change movie folder. You wanna put like where the CJ files will be. I would recommend doing an own folder for it. I have it somewhere in my. Daddy, I have it like right here. These are plenty of files in here. Well, that's it. Um, you can delete move segments. I'm gonna do that. Okay, boom. Removing all the segments I already have. Now you wanna put up all everything you want to have. You want to have DX level to 98, FPS to 60 or higher. It'll take more time to record if you put higher than 60. You can put up uh, custom stuff that you already have inside inside your team for this too. You can change resolution and whatever HUD, maybe like default, custom, medic, HP and UB charge only, and the kill notice. Now, this is kill notice only. That's it. Maybe the view model FV, uh, frame output, TGA, view models. You can switch whatever off or on. So, after that, start team for two. Now, what Team Fortress 2 actually does, or La like One Recording Tool, it removes all your normal custom HUDs. It just makes another folder. Like it doesn't remove it. It just makes another folder, puts it somewhere else until you stop Lawana and this Team Fortress 2 version. Then it'll put it back into your old version. But I want to remind you, like when you stop Team Fortress 2, you need to wait for this to stop unless it might be bugs, but it only has the Lawana stuff. Uh, still there. Now you see here, it's Lawana. Like you can see, press P to start recording. First of all, you wanna go to the demo you recorded, so play demo in the console, and you wanna write whatever you call it, and this is what I call it. Now it's starting, and whenever you get to the tick you want, you press P. Now if you want to go to a certain tick, you wanna write demo UI, I'll show you how to do it in a second. Right here, demo UI. You can pause, you can check how fast you want it to go, and check the ticks, these are the ticks. Uh, 100 ticks are one second, I believe. So let's go to zero again. Go to. Now we are here, press resume. All right. Press resume, press stop, press P. Now it's recording. It, you will hear probably the same sound all the time, or, um, yeah, probably like that. Same style all the time. It's going very slow, slower than it should look like. But in a second, 
I will run this out. So I'm gonna leave this for you, and I'm gonna speed it up for you guys, so you don't need to wait for this too so much. Um, but after that, I'll go into virtual tab and, and stuff like that. Press B again to stop recording the movie. When you record the movie, you're gonna quit the movie too. You can do it through low one and press stop to it will stop it. Now, let this work until it's done. But meanwhile, we're gonna use virtual dub. So, when you're in virtual dub, you wanna press file, open video file, you're gonna locate where you put the file. So, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put this computer, um, the RD, and low one CGA, new map, it will be A0. That's it, you see it. Now, you wanna add the audio because it's a separate VAV file. Then you wanna go to video, frame rate, change frame rate to FPS 60. Press Ctrl P, this is optional if you have Lagarde Lossless Codec, which is, which is a way of um, like um, encoding the actual AVI, AVI file that you will encode. Now, so let's press F7. Now, you wanna find a place to put it. I'm gonna put it in my tutorial. And let's put recordings for audio files, or so whatever this was called. Let's just press save. Uh, save and highest for it to go even faster. Now I'm gonna speed this up for you and I'm gonna show you how it turned out. Okay, now we're done in virtual dub. That's everything you need to do. Now we have a recording of what you wanted to record. Now I'm gonna get you a preview of what it looked like or the entire clip that I recorded. It's like 15 seconds long. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you. And I see you guys next time. This was narrated and recorded and edited by Reaper.